closing the loop on our buddy Joel Webin. And uh, so to remind everyone of uh, who this guy was is, he's a Christian nationalist pastor and has a lot of wild views. And I I wanted to get Kayla's um to get Kayla's uh final thoughts on this. And I'm gonna, you know, show you guys exactly what he is, and we're gonna put up a video of him right, right now. So check this out. A Christian nation and women could vote, then within 50 years we would no longer have a Christian nation. Um that uh, God has not designed women for warfare. And that's part of what politics is. It's really all that politics is. It's war without the blood. And I believe that the sword has been given to men. The sword is w without being crude. I just, I think this is a fact. It is a phallus. It is assigned by God to men. I think nature shows that. I think scripture shows that. So both natural revelation and special revelation. Uh, war is something that is um, belonging to men and it's not something that we employ in our ranks, whether it be political war or whether it be literal mm -hmm. war, uh, women and children. So in the same way, you know, like, and people are like, that's, that's, um, that's so archaic. You're a Neanderthal. You're so, you know, uh, primitive and chauvinistic, you won't let women vote. Well, our, our society doesn't let five-year-olds vote yet. I, pr I, I pray that it, you know, that, that it stays that way, but we it don't let change. children, I can't. We don't let children vote. I just want to, I just want to clarify for our listeners that we don't let five-year-olds vote because they don't have fully developed brains, right? Just so anyone's not clear, your frontal lobe doesn't fully develop until about the age of 25. So Joel, that's why we don't let children vote. And I did want to circle back to something that we talked about in last episode that I felt like I didn't uh, clarify or articulate well, because I was getting so jumbled. But um, there was a moment in one of his other clips where Joel was talking about women not vote. Or, yeah, If women couldn't vote, like there would be you know, no democratic party or something like that. He said something. And I was like, Oh my God, like how do people listen to this and think that math mass and thank you so much. Cause you did a great job of being like, well, no, like if, if women didn't vote, there wouldn't be, you know, probably as much uh, Democrats as we have right now or whatever. But what I really meant there was that I don't understand how um, people are and, and, I do think that this is not something specific to Joel. I see it a lot in the independent fundamental or these just fundamental extreme uh, denominations where it's he he's sitting there. He was sitting there preaching, saying that women shouldn't vote because they don't meet these qualifications that that he has in his mind that, that allegedly come from the Bible, like the, the, that man is the sword and and that the man should lead this family um, or a family, whatever. But he's he's in politics and he's talking about this belief of his and a political um, stance and saying that because women, right, or all these potential other people don't qualify for these things in his mind that that make it make you a good voter, right? Man, white, Christian or whatever it is. I'm, I'm sure he didn't, hopefully he didn't say man or white. Oh, well, I know he said man, but white. Um, but I'm just going on a limb here. And I bet that if we were having a quiet conversation with him, there would be more. But um, yeah. essentially what he said there was, I don't want American politics. I don't want our electoral system, the electoral call. I don't want any of that because you are only qualified to vote if you believe just like I do. And I know that this is something we see everywhere, but that's what I was trying to get at. Just that if you are passionate about being an American, right? Like we're military brats. And I know that for me, I, even though I struggle with where we are politically, like at the end of the day, I'm still a little American girl, you know, like I love this. I So to say that is essentially to just to be like, this whole system, everything that we set up, you know, it, it's so contradictory to say that you have to qualify this belief system in order to be re like logical or enough of a, a whatever to vote. Um, and I just wanted to clarify that because it's basically saying that like America was set up, you know, for anybody, all people to be able to um, vote and then somebody to vote on their behalf but and, and that's in our there's no way you can look at our constitution and i, I think 
have an educated debate about that um, based on what it says. But what Joel said was like, you know, I don't want that. Like no women, you're an entire demographic party and you are the reason that we have Democrats in the house. So obviously a, a, a whole bunch of you feel this way. And because of that, y'all shouldn't count. Like yeah. that is so illogical and I'm sorry, it's stupid. Please don't believe like that. Please don't think like that. <laughs> like, so I just want to say that. And the other thing too, is we we talk about a lot of stuff on here, but I wanted to give our listeners like some direction about like how to help or how to like who change this. And I think one thing that we're doing here is like we're researching people like Joel. We're researching people like Isabella, um, who we're going to talk about next. Agree, agree, hundred percent. Not just because of competency, you know, because that would be the immediate counter as well. But their their brain isn't fully developed, and uh, so are you saying that a woman is like a child? Yes. Uh, but not intellectually. I'm not saying that. The question is how? In what way is a woman like a child? She is like a child in the way that God has appointed men to protect them. So a couple things I wanted to bring up uh, with what Joel said here in that you mentioned the, uh, the, the sword and the phallus thing and how, you know, God is a uh, God has uh, designated that men are the ones that are supposed to be, you know, doing the fight and everything. And with folks like this, these uh, Christian nationalists, you're going to find a, it's not necessarily that they're tied directly to Christian Christianity. They're also tied uh, explicitly to like Roman and Greek mythology and uh and uh and and uh and wow. uh culture fellas or if folks uh roman empires fell <laughs> yeah so and since we're so obsessed aren't we right on schedule <laughs> yeah right and even like what i caught was when he talked about uh, the penis being a phallus because that's exactly what the roman the roman empire said like like is that exactly in fact the word vagina is Latin for sheath. Like you put your sword in a sheath. And so like it, it, it is like completely on the line there. And it's it's just like it's it's a misogynistic and, uh, you know, racist and uh, totalitarian thought process that he has here that. It's like, well, we got to do this because this is what's going to make the country great. You know, the the actual consequences of it don't really matter. And I think that people like Joel are pandering to an audience that want to hear this, whether it's true or not. And he spawned a whole bunch of other people. Or not him necessarily. I didn't start with him, but you know this this movement has spawned a whole bunch of other people, and it keeps growing. And it's 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 kind of like they know that this philosophy is dying, and so they 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 go hard in the paint for this and trying to uh, you know get it out to as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. And 